Hi, what we're going to be looking at in this tutorial is adding textures to arrows and also using layer styles, something which some people have forgotten about and some people don't know much about, but they're quite useful. So let's start. What we're going to do first is uh, add a texture to our already existing arrows. If you haven't made your arrows, then have a look at the earlier tutorial animated arrows in After Effects. We're then going to add layer styles to end up with something like this. So let's begin. Here you have your two shape layers. Take your texture and drop it under layer 2. Toggle it open, transform, and position and scale it as you would like it to look. So in this case 32 should do us fine. And that's great. Toggle closed, select it, control D to copy it and put one copy under shape layer one. First copy in the track mat, select luma mat. Second layer, select luma mat as well. Now you have the texture. Now go up to your first texture and under parent, parent it to shape layer 2. What this means is that as the arrow moves, the arrow head will remain the same and won't be looking like it's just running across a background texture. Then select all of these and up in layer and select pre-compose. Name it. Type pre-comp will do for us. OK. Going back to original comp, go into layer, down to layer styles and they will all appear and you'll see them all listed. There's drop shadow, inner shadow, outer glow, inner glow, bevel and emboss satin, color overlay, gradient overlay and stroke. In this case what we're going to do is bevel and emboss. You'll notice there's an immediate effect and the layer styles appear on your layer. Go down to bevel and emboss, open it. There are quite a few headings here. Have a look through the help files and learn a little bit more about it. But for the moment, we'll just increase the size, which will round it off. If you go to the very top, you'll see there's a drop down that says inner bevel. You can change the bevels, outer bevel, emboss, pillow emboss, and stroke emboss. We'll stay with inner bevel for the moment. You'll also see underneath that there's a technique. You can have it smooth. Chisel hard does some strange things to it. However, chisel soft works fine. However, we'll stay with smooth. Toggle that closed. And with the layer selected, go up into layer, layer styles, and in this case, we're going to add a drop shadow. Select that and you'll see it appears down here. Open it up. Again, quite a few headings. But at the moment, we're just going to look at size, which operates like feathering. Don't ask me why, but it does. We'll just soften that off a little bit. We'll also just change the distance slightly. Again, you can have it as far away as you like. And that's the basics of it. Just going through the layer styles. See, that's the bevel and emboss with an outer bevel. That's the bevel and emboss embossed. That's the pillow emboss. Inner shadow. Bevel with an outer glow. Bevel with a pillow and an inner glow with a gradient color type, satin, emboss with a color overlay, that's at 50% opacity for the color overlay, 
embossed with a gradient overlay, again 50%, which allows some of the texture to come through. The stroke, which just strokes the outside of the arrow, and with an outer glow as well. Another really interesting trick is to use photographs as textures. I went out onto my balcony and literally in five minutes shot off some snapshots. And you end up with things like this. That's the actual photograph. That has a cartoon effect added to it. Again, looking up, a different angle looking up, buildings, and this one used Colorama on the shot. Don't forget you can also do this with Illustrator brushes if you've looked at the earlier tutorial on that as well. Till next time, I'll see you then.